With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, uh, so it is a basically a passage based co uh, question. This is a passage which has been given. Now the resistive force pro is proportional to the object velocity. At the lower uh, low speed, the resistive force uh, acting on the body that is moving uh, in the viscous medium is effectively bordered as being proportional to the object velocity and it is given as r equals to minus b into v. Now where v is the velocity of the object, b is a positive constant that depends on the properties of the medium. Now there is also a negative sign. What does it represent? It represents that the resistive force is opposite to the velocity. So this is the resistance or the resistive force. Now uh, it is uh, given that if we consider a sphere uh, which is uh, of mass m which is released in a liquid, so there would be several forces which would be acting on the sphere. One of the force would be the resistive force, one of the force would be the weight. So we can just model this using the uh, Newton's second law of motion. Now there would be a bind force which would be acting uh, because it is al already acting whenever uh, we are, uh, there is a body which is submerged. But this we can just ignore the bind force. So what would be the net force? It would be the mg which is the weight minus bv or we can say that our resistive force because it would be acting in the opposite direction. Now net force is equal to mass into acceleration. Acceleration could be written as dv divided by dt. Now from this expression if we just rearrange the term we can just get this expression and if we just cross multiply dt then we can get integrate and we can get the value of the velocity. Okay this is the value of the velocity. Now we also know that when the velocity is constant when velocity is constant then acceleration value would be equal to zero. So we can say that a equals to zero at constant velocity that constant velocity is known as terminal velocity and given as vt so it would be vt equals to mb div mg divided by b so here we can say that uh, mg minus b into vt this is equals to zero so vt value would be equals to mg divided by b this velocity vt is known as the terminal velocity okay now we can put uh, mg divided by b as the terminal velocity now here there are a few data which have been given now what is the question which we have been asked we have been asked if there is a body of mass m and uh, this uh, constant value b is given as to be 4 newton second per meter which has a terminal velocity vt in a liquid then the time required to reach 0.63 vt from the start is equal to what now here we know that our vt v could be written as terminal velocity 1 minus e to the power minus uh, this vt divided by m this would be the value so here it would be minus bt divided by m okay now we can put the value of the velocity as 0.63 bt okay we can put the value now we know the b value and we also know the m value now we can solve this to get the value of the time okay but this would be an exponential uh, equation okay so otherwise what we can do we know that this is our basically 63 percent of the velocity so we can say that what is the time which is required for this expression we have already uh, we can just see this expression in uh, 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 this uh, uh, e, 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 uh, this alternating current also okay these types of equation so we say that whenever the current value or we can say that here in this case uh, this velocity value reaches 63 percent so the time required would be equals to time required this would be equals to the time constant okay how do we write the time constant if you just rewrite this expression we can just rewrite this expression to be vt 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by tau this is how we write okay now if we compare what would be the value of tau from this expression we can say that tau value would be equal to m divided by b so we say that tau value would be equal to m divided by b m value is 2 b value is 4 so it would be 2 by 4 that means 0.5 seconds so this would be the d would be directly we would be getting the correct answer otherwise what we can do we can just put the value and then we can solve the exponential equation so hope you understood this solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today